Well, many believe the first step towards being competitive in a global economy is understanding the competition. That's why an Oklahoma high school teacher regularly takes a group of students to China to meet with their peers. Our Brian Bindley has that story. Tradition, culture, growth. Just a few experiences Oklahoma City students enjoyed as they spent 22 days in China. I just told my parents, like, hey, I want to go out and discover the world, you know. <laughs> it's, it's just a different experience. Just seeing all the different artifacts, like the Great Wall, the Terracotta Warriors, seeing all those places, it just, it just really opened up my mind to new different aspects of life and new features. Hey, Seuss and Terrence were just two of five students from Southeast High School who had the opportunity to travel abroad. You have to have an open mind to go to another country because it's not like Oklahoma, you know. It's very big. It's not as diverse as the United States. And they treat you differently, and they treat you with respect, and they, uh, they really ain't no racism or any, uh, any hate over there. They all, they all just really love and they, they all brothers over there. And this wasn't just your typical sightseeing trip. These students took classes with their Chinese counterparts at the Chindu Vocational Technical College, where they studied while their teacher and chaperone, Tom Trammell, taught English to Chinese students. They can read English, write English, read and write, but they cannot speak. So we, we talk to them and have them converse with us um, during those classes in English. Southeast High School students apply for the opportunity to study abroad, and only a select few are chosen, but those select few come back to America with a whole new perspective. As bright as a kid can be when they come back from China, they're changed. They see what China's all about. They see, they see the flaws in the American, American system. They see, see what is positive also in the American system, and they see what's going on in China, and they are so thankful what they have for what they have in America. The exchange occurs when Chinese students come to America, where they tour the country, staying in Oklahoma for 10 days, taking classes at Southeast High and finding a completely different style of education. If you are in the class in China, a teacher will tell you everything you need to do, and uh, you don't have your own idea like that. But in America, it's like you study, you learn because you want to, and uh, you need to know and after you learn something you will use it and you know you will remember it. 16 year old Zhao Ling says that while teaching styles are different the pressures put upon teenagers are great and one of the reasons she desires to be a psychologist in China. In China like if you have problem in your heart they won't realize like I need a psychologist they will just talk to a friend or just care about money stuff like that because the first thing they think about will be like uh, if I have to if I have something to eat tomorrow if I have clothes tomorrow that's the most thing they think about. Both countries vary from democracy to communism from ancient civilization to evolving industry yet Trammell hopes this exchange creates a better understanding of each culture for the leaders of tomorrow. Your government will tell you one thing my government will tell me one thing when your government is talking about me as an American, you remember my time I spent with you, and you remember what I was, the American that you saw. You remember my students. Those are the Americans that you need to remember. The same thing Trammell does as he teaches about China in his classroom in an effort to develop foreign relations to last a lifetime.